I'm going to take you on a little driving tour of the Northern Quest RV Resort. We're uh, in Airway Heights, Washington, just outside of Spokane. Uh, very, 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 very nice uh, RV resort that's uh, right here uh, beside the uh, casino. We will take us a little driving tour. There's Monty Lisa's bus right there. We're in site number two. You can see they've got cabins you can rent as well. I'll call this Cabin Row. I don't know what the name of the street is, but uh, you can see they've got cabins on on both sides that you can rent, uh, just like a hotel. But it has probably has a little more amenities of the feel of being like home versus a hotel room, a little more individualized. I didn't count how many they had, but they had a lot there. And I'll just take you kind of on a little driving tour around the, the facility here. <clears throat> You've got a laundry area where you can do your laundry right there uh, in front of us and there's a men and women's restroom got a common area for uh, little beanbag sports and a grill for barbecuing you can see they've got a dog walk area if you have a, an animal that travels with you to uh, let it run and do its thing some people playing cards there like they're having a, an easy weekend this is a this whole area this uh, airway heights area is a very nice area around Spokane I, I like this area uh, as being one of some of the best areas scenery wise and just the aesthetics the way they keep it up of a lot of the places that I have been you can see this is a fairly large RV uh, park here they're not certainly not full this weekend but uh, you got real large sites I'll, I'll pull up in mine where you can you can see the sites but they have extremely large sites uh, you know, full power, water, sewage, and and certainly set up professionally. Being that this is on tribal lands, uh, it is the enforcement and security here done by the tribal police. Uh, and there are they are around all night. Uh, I noticed them driving through on several occasions last night as I was up and and doing things myself uh, up and down uh, in the motor coach. One ways there can't enter into that. drive back around and come down the one I'm in and I will turn up into it where you can see how large it is. Just ahead of us, straight ahead there, is uh, the clubhouse. That's where registration is. There's also the pool, uh, hot tub and recreation area uh, fitness center etc is in the clubhouse there no need to turn up in there it's a uh, blocked off or dead end is what I should say but you can see come on turn into our site here which is site number two you can see just how large the site is I've got you got plenty of room for 
two vehicles, three if you needed to. I mean, my, my coach is 45 feet long, so, and I'm not at the very back of the pad, so you can see just how large uh, these sites are. down through here. round we've got a couple of dogs in the compound there letting them run around and do their business that one there's a vapor lock but as you can see it is a very uh, very nice RV resort that has a lot to offer here uh, and for adults, they certainly have their gaming over at the casino. There is a hotel there, and they have a full spa, a full uh, day spa. Here's another common area for grilling, uh, any type of gathering. If you've got a group that's meeting here, uh, you can uh, reserve. This has an area for cooking, uh, and they did say that they had tables that they could bring out there for seating and uh, and eating they've removed them right now because of the COVID virus but specific events and specific requirements they can be put back placed back uh, for a specific event if everyone follows the the rules and the separation well that takes us around the the RV park I'm gonna make a loop down through here by the casino and then uh, when I get back into the RV park I will go over to the pool area uh, clubhouse area and uh, get some video of that gonna go through the roundabout here looks like we may get a little rain today it uh, been overcast and cloudy all day but uh, it was a beautiful day yesterday. Turn it, you can see they're kind of on the left. At, if the front of the Jeep is 12 o'clock, kind of 11 o'clock, the hotel. Five star hotel at that. And then uh, adjoining it, they have a conference center and then they have their uh, casino, uh, full gaming. Uh, they got areas, uh, uh, a non-smoking casino and a smoking casino. So for those that don't smoke, they can accommodate you as there as well. Some people going there has got some money to spend, obviously. Them go through they're gonna go through over there I'm gonna make a loop up through here in front of the hotel where you can get a better uh, a better view of it let these cars go by they're gonna stop and let him go by so we're gonna go on but this is the entrance to the hotel if you did not come or do not come in an RV, you can make reservations here at their five-star hotel. Uh, I haven't seen one of the rooms other than online, but I have been in the hotel and walked around in the common areas, and it is extremely nice.
camera pointed to the left there where you can see the entrance. They have a kids quest. You bring children or you bring your grandchildren. They have a kids quest. Uh, to take care of the children while you play in their casino. They also have a movie and dinner. Uh, that's not open right now due to the COVID virus, but they have a movie and dinner uh, facility where you go there, uh, you sit family style, and you're served a meal, uh, and you watch a movie. Uh, a current run, current play, movie just like going to the theater but I guess you could call it a dinner theater well I'm gonna circle back around and go in and uh, get some uh, video of the pool area and the clubhouse so uh, I'll end this segment here till I get back around there there's a monument here at the RV resort I'm gonna come over and get some video of it as well I read it yesterday but I can't remember what it is but it's a monument to the designer the legacy of the designer Bud Searles and they've got this monument here uh, for him in the RV park. Here's the clubhouse. I'm gonna walk up here and see what I can see, go around to the pool and stuff and get in and get some videos of it as well. Apologize in advance about the shakiness, but that's holding the little camera by a stem and letting it record and my big self trying to walk they've got these golf carts for rent uh, you know kind of first come first serve for rent uh, to ride around the RV park or back and forth to the casino they normally have a shuttle but the shuttle is not running because of the COVID-19 it's not a bad walk. I mean, it's just a couple of blocks to, to it. This lock's going out. I guess you have to go in from the front. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Just gonna come check the pool out. A lot of children here playing this weekend around the park. I've seen several groups of them. See, the landscaping here is just excellent. Here's another sitting area, community area. Got a fire pit. Got a fire pit. And a uh, place to sit around, talk, read, whatever you would want to do. don't see where you use the card to get in there I guess you have to go through the clubhouse got a volleyball court out there to play volleyball I'll get it figured out in a minute
video around in here at the clubhouse. Computer station. Fireplace. I don't think we need that today. The fitness center is closed due to COVID-19, but you can see it's got a little workout world. the pool area. Just access it from inside the building. It's got a ping pong table. We've got most of the chairs most of the chairs put up right now. How y'all doing? Is the water cold? Oh yeah, it's pretty warm. <laughs> get, once get you up? get used to it, I guess. What? No, no, no. I believe it was warmer yesterday on the outside temperature than what it is today. Yeah, it's kind of kind of weird for this time of year. See the little footprints in the cement and the bare footprints.